my name's Colin. You guys know me. Today I need to talk to you guys about something very serious. Recently there's been these bans proposed for constricting snakes. Now, what this ban is, it's going to stop the transportation of constricting snakes across state lines. So, basically, this is going to be, it's illegal to move this I live in Kansas. If I wanted to sell it to someone in Missouri, that wouldn't be legal. I would, if I tried to do that, if I snuck it across the state line in my vehicle, I would be a felon for that, basically, is what it is. And this is so necessary for people who are going to reptile shows, people who have their life invested in this. They can't, you can't limit yourself to a single area because this is still an expanding industry and you need to be able to move. So to go to reptile shows, people who are just buying them on the internet, you need to be able to sell your animals and you can't just limit them to your state. You have to be able to be able to do that. And so that's going to seriously hurt this. The reptile exotic animal industry annually brings in to the US economy $2 billion. And if you guys know, um, our economy is pretty bad right now, and it wouldn't do too much good to uh, take out another $2 billion that would just be pointless. And also, it would be a chain effect because those people who have their lives in invested in these animals, they have their whole, their whole life savings invested in these animals and everything they do, they'd be jobless. And what would they do? They would just be jobless. So, I mean, what would that do? Just put people out of their jobs. It would take money out of the economy and it would be a chain effect. Shipping companies would lose business. Farmers who sell their grain to people to make feed supplies that go into the rats, which we need for our snakes. See, I mean, it goes all the way to farmers in the field. I mean, it's just everywhere. It would just be a rolling chain effect. <laughs> we, don't, we can't afford that right now. Ball pythons are the most popular thing right now in the reptile trade and they can range anywhere from $20 to $100,000. So this is a huge industry. This isn't just something little that we can just push out of the way. This is big, guys. So most people are scared of them. There's really no reason to be afraid of this. I mean, just look at this. If they were to stop allowing us to move across the state lines, then amazing animals produced like this every year would be stopped. It'd come to a stop. There would be very little to no more genetic experimentation because someone in Michigan, like BHB Reptiles, couldn't trade with someone in California and so they couldn't get those new combinations coming in and it would just come to a stop. I know you guys don't want to see that. So I need you guys to sign a petition that they're proposing for this. And there's just some statistics for you guys. 0.4 of a person is killed every year from reptiles, from constricting snakes. 0.4 of a person. So every five years, that's two people are killed by a constricting snake. Two people. All right. Then also with horses, if you guys uh, could take a guess, um, there are actually 220 people killed every year from horses. Yes, 220 people killed every year. So if you do the math, over those five years where there's two people killed by constrictor snakes, there's over a thousand people killed by horses. And always complaining about that. And it's not just a numbers game because there's two million pet snakes owned in America. There's two million horses. It's the same thing. So two people, a thousand people. No one's complaining there really. And if you're afraid of the environmental problems in South Florida, Okay, there's really not much that you can put blame on the constricting snakes there because, just an example, cats have been in every part of our country. They are not native species, they're invasive species, and they're wild, you know, there's wild cats and they're out there, and snakes are only going to kill for food. That's the only reason they're going to kill. Cats kill for fun. That's just, that's just part of a cat. Florida, there's wild hogs, which are not native, they're invasive species. They're known to raid up to 70% of, of an alligator nest. So if you're mad because uh, Burmese python ate an alligator, an alligator, while well, those wild hogs are just tearing up these nests, and I, I don't know. So that's just some st statistics for you guys, because it just, it doesn't make sense in my mind. I don't know how this makes sense to Congress. It's because 
they're scared of these animals. And I need you guys to sign this petition. You can click the link below and it will take you there. It's very simple. It's very simple. You don't have to make an account or anything. You put in your email, your name, and um, it will you'll sign this petition. And then if you could also move on to the next step, it's really simple. If you could, if they have a, re a letter written up and you'll just basically put your name in and your email and it'll send it to your congressman and it'll, you can read through the letter. It basically just says uh, that you're against this. You think it's a bad idea that you own these animals and that you would be strongly affected if they were to pass this law. So guys, really, if this is a free country, why can't we even own what pets we want anymore? It just doesn't, it doesn't really make sense to me. Free country and we can't even choose what we want to have in our own house. So you guys would please be with me and click the link below if it doesn't work. Uh, message me, do something. Guys, I really need your support here because these guys are gonna be gone. And I mean, do you want that to be gone? It's up to you. I need your help. Sign this petition. We need as many people as we can. Thank you.